Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. I wanted to jump on here real quick to mention that I filmed this video about three months ago. So prior to the COVID outbreak and also prior to the shelter in place order, you will see in this video, I challenge myself to do a different workout every week. So you'll see that I'll be out and about and I had a lot of fun shooting this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. During this time, I noticed that people are definitely taking more care of themselves mentally and physically. So that also includes your down there care, which I'll be talking about in this video. And I want to say thank you to Cottonelle for sponsoring today's video They are working around the clock to bring more products back to the shelves. So keep an eye out for that um, Without further ado, let's jump into my fitness routine slash fitness challenge Welcome back to my channel guys. Today's video is sponsored by Cottonelle Good morning this week is gonna be a fun one because I'm taking you guys through my fitness routine. I've been asked a lot lately what I've been doing for my workouts, but to be honest, after about three months into the year, I haven't exactly just stuck with one workout. I actually enjoy doing a variety of different workouts. So this week, I'm gonna take you guys through some of my favorite ones. Some are gonna be harder, some are gonna be easier because I wanna give my body a break in between. But yeah, it's gonna be a really good week and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. This morning, I wanted to talk to you guys about my down there care. I think in general talking about down there care is always a little uncomfortable for most people but I'm here to tell you that it's very normal and it's just part of life and if we talk all about our skincare and what we do on the outside of our skin why aren't we talking about the parts that are hidden you know those need some love too. Today's video is sponsored by Cottonelle and I've been a huge fan of Cottonelle ever since I was a little girl. You know you're an adult or that you're growing up when you start caring about these little things. What I love about the Clean Ripples is that the texture helps you clean more in one wipe than any other brand that I've ever used. So that's great because you use less toilet paper and you get cleaner faster. Personally for me, I also like to use flushable wipes and I pair it with my toilet paper. I like to do this because it allows me to just feel really, really clean. And let's be real, sometimes we're on our period or we go number two in the morning or number one. And after that, you just wanna feel refreshed, refreshed? refreshed and cleansed. So I like to go in with a wipe because it's similar to washing yourself with water, but not having to hop in the shower every time after I use the bathroom. So it's a great way to help me feel clean. I like to bring it with me when I go work out. I also love bringing it with me when I go camping because it's just a great way for me to clean myself. If you guys don't already use wipes down there as part of your routine, I highly recommend you guys try it because you just feel so much cleaner and refreshed and I never run into feeling itchy anymore. I know that this may be a little uncomfortable for people to talk about but I just want to make it feel normal you know just like when I made the video about my tampons no one was talking about it at the time because it was just such like a weird thing you know people never really talk about your private areas but I'm here to challenge that that we can talk about these things because I totally think it's such a normal thing so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my little routine my down there care routine that maybe you guys never asked for but something that you've always wanted to know Today's workout, I'm actually gonna go do some bouldering. I'm already gonna be in that area because I have a meeting. So I thought I'd just pop in right after and get a good workout in. Don't mind my hair right now. So I just came home from work. Today went much longer than I thought it would. So I didn't have time to go to the climbing gym after, but instead I still wanted to make sure I get my workout in. So I just grabbed my yoga mat and we're just gonna do a nice little free workout here on my porch. All right, so today, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me. So today I wanted to really focus on my lower abs. I'm not really sure how we're gonna film this video. But yeah, usually I wear a lot of high-waisted clothes and I really neglect my lower ab area because I just hide it with my jeans. I do wanna work on toning it up so that this summer when I'm in my bikini, we got a nice toned flat ab. Let's start with the first one. All you really need is a yoga mat. Get on my mat and, sorry, I don't know what these exercises are called, but you can just watch and follow. Keep my hands here by my side, lift my legs up, and I'm just gonna do a series of these. Wanna engage your lower abs. I feel like this is also great to work out my back strength and also it works out my thighs. Next, I like to do some scissors. And extend. And I slowly bring it down 
and up. Next exercise I'm gonna do, this one kills me. How many am I gonna get through? I don't know, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, here is the next one. You me, no me. So with this next exercise, my back is really weak, so I want to make sure that I'm still getting the form right or as best as I possibly can. So I'm not going to drop my legs too far down, just because I can't do it and it hurts my back. So whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you can do, just lower it as much as you can without your back arching too much. We're gonna come up here, and then I'm just gonna drop as much as I can, and then lift up. And then lastly, I'm going to do a crunch kick. You bring your legs up and you just extend it out and bring it in. Kick it out, bring it in. All right, now back to the top. We're going to do the leg drops. All right, so the rest is pretty much very self-explanatory. I pretty much just repeat those four exercises three times. Or another thing that I think is great is playing a YouTube video because that usually helps me stay focused and I also feel like I'm doing the workout with someone. Sometimes these home workouts can feel just very boring. In addition to my workouts this week, um, every single day we walk our dogs and we usually walk them around 45 to an hour per day. So that's also a little bit of an exercise that I like to get in. If I don't work out, I wanna at least walk. So. And my dogs need it too. Okay, let's go. Walking downtown and I'm okay. He's got it all figured out. It's what they all say, yeah. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living. Wow. I don't really care what they all say. Easier said than done. We just did our walk. I wonder how many steps we took today. Uh, I can tell you right now. Our goal was 10,000 steps. Hold on, that was yesterday. <gasps> wow! Whoa, 8,000. Or close to. Close to. Wow. Yay! <laughs> Good morning guys! It is day three of my workout challenge and today I'm gonna do some hot yoga but my class is gonna start in like 10 minutes so I'm out here in the courtyard just gonna do some stretching. obviously since um, there's other people there and also it's hot yoga so the room is really hot you definitely don't want to bring your electronics in there I think this was the sweat that I needed this week I am on day four of my challenge this week and to be honest today is probably the day that I feel the least motivated to work out I got it's not really a rash, but I got an allergic reaction to something a couple days ago. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm not really sure what it is, but I got an allergic reaction all over my back. Navi, stop. But I didn't want to go to the gym for that reason. So I decided to just do a simple workout at home. I didn't want to fall behind on my challenge. So even if I'm taking it easy, I want to do it. This week I haven't worked on my arms yet, so I'll just do some very simple home arm exercises that I know of. And if you have weights at home, definitely use them. But since I don't have weights, I'm just gonna do this as many times as I can.
And now I'm gonna do a series of pulses. And this really burns. Uh, 23, 24, 25. Honestly, I'm not good at push-ups, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, all right, I'm ready. Ah, these are so hard. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for the support. I am checking back in. Today is actually the sixth, sixth, Day. I did not work out yesterday. I thought I was gonna work out today, but I did not because my rash got really bad I got an allergic reaction. I went to the doctors and they can't really figure out what it is just based off of looking at my symptoms But they believe that it could be seasonal allergies because a lot of their patients have been coming in with the same type of Situation as you can see my reaction is pretty severe right now. It's all over my chest all over my arms I'm overall just really itchy and I don't want to get sweaty. But anyways, nonetheless I want to recap a little bit on this week I feel really good even though I did not accomplish my five days But I got through four which is more than I usually do And I just want to say that sometimes with working out when you're looking at other people It's very easy for you to compare your results or your progress But try your best not to do that because we're all on our own journey And you just have to work at your own pace and listen to your body I think the next class that I would like to try out would be Krav Maga um, I actually was supposed to take a self-defense class with my friends yesterday But because of this reaction that I was having I didn't get to go in the future I'll definitely look look into it and do it on my own time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video inspires you to just go out there, try something new, try a different workout and challenge yourself, whether that be doing something super extreme and high intense cardio or just something more relaxed like taking a walk with a friend. I think it's just overall very, very good for the mind to get any sort of exercise in every single day. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And again, thank you Cottonelle for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested, I'll leave links in the description box down below.